gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Don't want to get run over by Karen. back. Gotta empty that truck. Hey. Hey, what's up? Glad to see you survived hey. the night Good in morning. the desert. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah. Not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen. Raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. <laughs> oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now, but I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. 
Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay. Time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a... rest stop. I know. Hope my crops will make it. Is that a new statue? Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party woman is made amazing. him feel so happy. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Feels like a hundred degrees in that fucking trailer. Hundred and five degrees out here. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <laughs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Hey, brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? 
You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert. Hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural-born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And... where you're going. <clears throat> By the way... 
Um, if you wanted to, you could come with us. To Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I love those things! Cool. Let's light up the sky.